In our previous video, we have completed the footer area and header area. Now it's time to create our home page and complete our home page. So let's get started. First of all, I have to go to settings and go to reading. Then change the page from static page to home and post page to blog. Click save change. Now go to the travel site and the home page looks like this. Now if I simply go to the home page edit options, you can navigate from here or you can navigate from page, all pages, then home page. So if I navigate from here, it's completely up to you and click edit. I would like to use a new tab. So always try to open a new tab. It's a best practice and uh, it will save your time. Now click on Astra. Now I would like to hide these features from here, the sidebar. So click Astra here. Then here you can see the sidebar, no sidebar. And also there are other features disable title so you can also disable and the content layout you can choose the content layout uh, from full width stretch layout so we can also change this layout from customizer setting globally and if you change it from here it will apply only the home page not globally now if i change here full width content you can change it full width stretch now click on edit with elementor because i'm going to use elementor right now so the page now looks like this it's completely blank and we'll be creating our hero section now here you can see the hero section is some comes with some text 64 pixel bold mon art and which is refers to heading one now click on section uh, it's not a column it's a section and i would like to use a height minimum height at least uh, 600 pixel is enough add a background image select here and go to style choose background type classic upload image from here and now I have already export my background image from Figma and I will attach all the resource uh, with you uh, guys. I will share all the resource with you so that you can download. So make sure you have added an alternative text which is called hero area. So it's completely up to you or your client uh, will give you the alternative text. It's very important. Make sure you have added alternative text on your client website. Click insert media now change the position center repeat no repeat size cover now it looks like this so if i just add some text here let's take a look i would like to duplicate this one because i want to use left side here and select heading paste it here so do not I, I do not want to change the color at this moment just change the heading one and copy the paragraph text from here paste it here change the color to white color well and here you can see the default color looks like this because i have to disable the default elementor color and typography to do so you have to navigate to the dashboard and go to elementor settings and here you can see disable default color and disable default fonts i do not want to use the default color and fonts i would like to use my own selected color and fonts from Astra customizer settings. Now if I go to Elementor and reload the page again, 
as you can see there is no default font and default color here now I'm going to change the color to white and change the width here so that it uh, adjusts with my design and the current h1 heading font size is based on this font size i have already uh, selected all of them globally from the customizer settings and that's why i don't have to do it again and again here so let's compare the design it looks perfect right now now add a button here and go to the button border radius is not perfect so i would like to change the border radius from astra customizer settings so the border radius here you can see a little bit wider so i think uh, it's not perfect here so first of all if you want to change the border radius go to customize and go to global and buttons so i am i would like to change it from here because uh, if i change if i want to change it from elementor so i can easily change the border radius from uh, here but uh, if i change it from here it will not affect globally and every single time when i am i'll be using any button on my website i have to do manually every single time so that's not a, a good idea and that's not best practice to make this change every single time so the best way is to use always global settings and change from one places and it will apply globally on your website so now i'm going to change it from customizer and here you can see the border it is 30 pixel i would like to use 15 and let's take a look how it looks if i select 15 is it similar to no it's not similar here uh i think it's 20 pixel well it's 15 pixel but i i, I added 5 pixel here so it's 15 pixel i just click publish here now if i click update and reload the page you will be noticing the border radius changed here well it's look perfect now now if i go to uh, the button here and let's explore the text is called let's explore go to elementor editor and here you can see the text change it to let's explore and you can change uh, the link here you can add the link whatever you want now i'm going to add arrow icon so here i just search arrow now i'd like to use at the right side not before i'd like to use after you can add some spacing uh, between the icon and text here and the button is i think it's uh, a little bit bigger mm, let's add some margin i'm not satisfied with the button size here at all i'm really not satisfied <laughs> let's change it here again uh well uh, let's add padding at the top 15 pixel bottom 15 pixel and right 25 left 25 publish hide the control okay so let's reload the page now now the button looks perfect i think and it looks similar to our design now so successfully we have changed our design also there is a little thing i think you might have noticed this one so if you take a look closely here you can see at the left side just take a look here from uh, the logo if you take it's not aligned perfectly and this text is uh, way inside the inner area not aligned here it should display align perfectly here at the left side if i take a look at my design here you can see it's aligned perfectly just uh, make an arrow here it's aligned perfectly so what i mean here i would like to use this uh, on my website let's undo well so how can we fix this first of all i have to take a look here if i go to astra global 
and container currently the astra container width is 1200 pixel and if i go to elementor and then go to site settings here you can see the layout and it's displaying 1140 pixel now we could expand to 1200 pixel and when i expand to 1200 pixel as you can see the header logo and the text is aligned perfectly so i hope you understand what i mean here and why i change it here click on update and reload the page so i think you also can see a little bit a difference here as well but i think it looks perfect right now now in the next part i'll be creating the about section here so let's stick with this video